bottom of the deck king of pentacles i like that i like that very much with the six of pentacles what the fuck is going on okay sagittarius looks like there was a one-sided situation there was a situation where you were probably getting the bare minimum or someone was offering you the bare minimum or you were doing this to the other person okay almost like you were not getting what you deserve I just read, uh, I just did an Aquarius reading and they had like a similar situation, okay? So you may want to check that out. Uh, yes, yeah, so I feel that there's someone here. I think you're very focused, okay? Either you're very focused on your work, your stability, and um, you're finally finding a balance within yourself. Or this is someone here who's coming towards you with a lot of stability, security, growth, commitment. And now this person wants a balance in the situation, okay? They want to bring in that equal give and take. They want reciprocity, an equal exchange of communication, emotions, investments, whatever have you, okay? But yeah, that balance is coming in within your situation. Like that very much. What happened in the past 10 of wands? So I feel there was a situation that was burdening you out. It was stressing you out. It was weighing you down and draining you out. Okay, that was the, the 10 of wands is a very draining energy. All right. So yeah, I think you were almost very, very uh, on the brink of letting a relationship go or letting go of a situation that was again, very overwhelming for you. Current situation, the temperance. That's you. You're being patient. I like that very much. Something's needing a lot of patience, Sagittarius. I'm feeling that you let a relationship go or let a person go who is not ready to offer you something stable, something committed, or they were just not giving you exactly what you wanted or what you deserved. You are right now keeping yourself away from any kind of drama or keeping yourself away from any kind of, um, again, chaos. You're trying to maintain balance. You're trying to maintain equal equilibrium. And I'm getting your being in a very meditative energy, okay? Something is going on behind the scenes, Sagittarius. If you're waiting for someone to come in, they're coming in. But this is going to require a lot of patience. Oh my God, this is so similar to the Aquarius reading. Please check it out, okay? Um, something is going to require a lot of patience from your side, okay? And I think you're trying to find a balance within yourself. Your biggest uh, challenge or influence is the Eight of Cups. Yeah, so I think that you have to walk away from the situation with the Eight of Cups here. You have to walk away from a situation which was not making you happy, which was just not serving you. And now, again, I'm getting you're being very, very patient, okay? You're waiting. It's almost like you've uh, let things be in the universe's hands, okay? Like, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, okay? And believe me, Sagittarius, what is meant to be, what is meant for you, is not going to pass you by no chasing no stress no anxiety if it's for you it's coming to you all right so yeah this is what you're doing and i think you walked away from a situation that was very burdensome and you're doing good right now you're keeping away from the shit talkers and you're not entertaining any drama what's on your mind five of swords in reverse you you've walked away you feel defeated and you walked away from a situation where probably this person was playing a lot of mind games from you again I think communication could have been a serious issue between you guys, okay? This is a serious conflict, okay? Again, two guys, not two people not on the same page. I think you were very, very determined to make this happen with this person, okay? But you finally gave up. You gave up and you walked away from the situation because you were like, I'm done with these mind games. Done. You could also be wanting a reconciliation with this person. Doesn't have to, but yeah. The root of the issue is the death here. So you've ended things with this person, okay? You know what I'm getting, uh, Sagittarius? You this could have, this ending could have been on your mind for a very long time, okay? But again, I think uh, I'm not seeing death in reverse. I'm seeing death upright, okay? So I feel that this could have been a situation that you were holding on to for a very long time, okay? You really, really, really wanted to make it happen, okay? You were very stubborn, okay? And hell bent on making things happen with you, with, with this person. Could be this person also. Take it how it resonates, vice versa. But yeah, I think finally you realize that it's no. It's no good holding on to a dead horse. You were not dragging a dead horse, okay? You were dragging a situation which was already ended. And if you wanted to see some improvement improvement in the situation, you had to let it go. You had to shut the old for the new to come in. I think this is the death card. The death card is not only endings and new beginnings, but it also means to me a lot of a huge change, a huge transformation that was needed within you or within this relationship in order for it to move forward. And that's what you did. You finally uh, listened to your intuition. You listened to your gut. And that, that's what you exactly did. This is a rebirth. 
and then you have future with the eight of wands in reverse here so yes so i do feel that because you're waiting right things are going to be very very slow there's going to be very very slow progress or things are going to be delayed okay i think there's going to be a huge halt in communication between you and the person you're dealing with or things are just not going to move as fast as you want them to of course you guys are broken up you're not on the same page so yeah what you're doing right now with the wheel of fortune i think you're, there's someone here who wants to make the ball rolling. Okay? He wants to get the ball rolling. Yeah? They're ready to put things into action and they want things in their favor. All right. Yeah. I think the right time's coming in. Things are slowly starting to move in your favor, Sagittarius. With the King of Cups in reverse here, you could be dealing with someone who's emotionally unavailable. Two things I'm getting. Either this person is emotionally unavailable or this is someone who has huge trust issues. Okay. Uh, this could be someone who's just not ready to open up or not emotionally unavailable. Their, their emotions are shut down, whatever. I'm just giving you different words, but it all means the same thing. Emotionally unavailable. All right. Again, this person could have huge trust issues either because they went through something in the past with a past situation. Okay. Where they're carrying that baggage towards this relationship. Okay. Or it's, it's just within the relationship that they've gone through something where they just don't trust you. It could be anything, all right? But I don't think it's something with you. I think this has to do with the, with the past, Sagittarius, because I think you've put in your best, you've put in your effort to make this work out, but it's just not happening, okay? So that, that breakthrough is not happening in your relationship. Again, and now it could even be you, Sagittarius. This could even be you who's just emotionally shut down now. And now this person wants to come in, okay? They want to move into calmer waters. They want to move towards you. And this person wants to make things happen. Now that you let this person go, and now that you're emotionally shut off, I think they're feeling the heat from you will clarify the likely outcome is the queen of cups in reverse so yeah sagittarius i think you're very very hurt you're very hurt and i think you're being emotionally very very detached from this person more than detached Sag, i'm getting that you are you're not showing this person how you really feel or this could be the person you're dealing with right but we have the king and the queen of cups here this is this is a divine couple but they're both in reverse. So I feel they're both shut down. One is emotionally unstable and one is very, very hurt because I'm thinking this is someone who could have just given and given and given. So Saj, this could be you if you're the one who's hurt. Take it how it resonates. Whoever's hurt here, right, is now very, very shut off. They're just very shut off because of whatever hurt was there within the relationship. Because the Queen of Cups is a very compassionate energy. Okay? She's always there for you. She's always very giving. She practices unconditional love. All right, she trusts her intuition. But I think right now your intuition is shut off. It's like, you know what? You're in very spiteful, very vengeful mode right now. Okay. And you're very upset, very disappointed with this person. This person with the King of Cups and Reverse, this person is someone who has huge trust issues. It's like a task to get this person to open up emotionally. So that's what I'm getting. I feel that now, um, I think you're moving on with the Six of Swords here. I think you're moving on. I think with the Wheel of Fortune and the Temperance here, I think you're leaving things to the universe, okay? Like if it's meant to be, it's going to happen for me. What is the what is the King of Pentacles here? The Fool in Reverse. So again, so I'm feeling that now that you're focusing on yourself, right? Um, with the Fool in Reverse here, I think that this is someone who wants to come back to you, right? But you're the one who's not ready to take this leap, this leap of faith. You're not ready to risk it. I think you think something is a big risky business. You're not wanting to move forward with someone. I think now you're very, very focused on your work. Again, books, work, stability, etc., whatever. And now for you, it's like even if this person comes in for you, you're very shut off. You're very shut off. Where is the fool in reverse here? One card. Why is the fool in reverse? Why is the fool in reverse? you have a lot of love for this person sad you have a lot of love for this person but i think you're choosing not to take a risk with this person and choosing to focus on yourself your work and creating your own stability within within yourself okay within the situation the king of cups is someone who can love you love you to the moon and back but still they will they've mastered their emotions right right so there's someone who's just not ready to show you how they feel and that's one of the reasons why this person could be a little confused also you could be giving mixed signals to this person doesn't have to be but yeah what is the temperance have a temperance 
Yep, see? You no more are making this a priority. With the temperance and the nine of swords in reverse here, I think you're no more making this a priority, okay? You're leaving this person out in the cold. You're shutting them out, okay? This could be a very codependent relationship. You could be very codependent on this person or you could even have abandonment issues or this person could, okay? But yeah, you're no more. It's almost like you're sleeping better, okay? You're no more having sleepless nights about this person because again, with the temperance here, you you have patience. You're going to wait for the divine to do its work. You're no more wanting to control the situation like you were before. What is the Eight of Cups? What is this Eight of Cups? Yeah. You're walking away from a soulmate with the Eight of Cups and the Six of Cups here. This person wants to come back to you now that you walked away. But yeah, you're okay, otherwise I, I feel you're walking away because this person brought in a lot of drama, a lot of bickering, you people were not on the same page, or there was just a lot of chaotic energy around this, okay, around this person. But yeah, you walked away from a soulmate. You walked away from someone who you thought was your soulmate, or you walked away from someone you had the best of memories with. Why is the five of swords in reverse here? Oh, the five of cups also fell out. A lot of disappointment. That's one of the reasons why you walked away. Crying was the milk. Focusing on the past. Investing your energy to something that's already gone. That's already over with. Be careful. The five of cups is if you stay in that energy for too long, sad, you can get into depression. And that can lead into a lot of inaction. All right. So you need to get out of that um, mode very quickly. Because from the eight it's getting better it's getting better but still from the eight you're going to the five okay so i mean but yeah i think the pain that you've gone through with this is eventually going to get better all right you're probably going to get out of that um walking away energy the good part is that it's not in the reverse the six of cups in reverse because i think that you don't hold a grudge against this person because you have good memories with this person and that's why it's been such a big disappointment. You almost thought things worked out between you guys. You tried your best to make it work out but it's just didn't and you chose to walk away. Why is the five of swords in reverse? Too many cards. Why is the five of swords in reverse please? Lack of equal give and take. Now they're coming in with that equal give and take. Now they're coming in with reciprocity. That's what we saw in the overall energy. Right? You're walking away because it was a one-sided situation. Bare minimum. That's all they were giving you. But there's clarity coming in with the sun here. There's happiness. There is a positive thing to this, okay? I'm getting, um, Saj, you just had to walk away with the wheel of fortune and with the wheel of fortune here something was very very fated and distinct you had to walk away this there was a lesson that you needed to learn or this person needed to learn where's the death where's the death here yeah you're ending things you ended things with this person where the three of wands here you're still waiting you want forward communication with this person okay you want forward moment with this person but you're waiting are you waiting? What's the three of wands? What is the three of wands? You could be waiting on communication with this person or you could be waiting for this person to completely change. Like, like pull a 180 on you. What's the three of wands? Sorry. Try for the three of wands. The two of cups in reverse. Okay. So I think there is a lot of love here, but right now you guys are not seeing eye to eye with each other, okay? You guys are just not on the same page. There's a lot of love here. There's this waiting game going on, okay? I'm hoping, Saj, that you are, you've ended things with this person. You want a complete transformation. You want a complete change with this person, okay? You still, there is a lot of love, okay, between you guys. You love this person, okay? But you're waiting, waiting and watching of what's going to happen next. Why is the eight of wands in reverse? But I think in the near future, things are still not going to progress as fast as you want them to. Why is the Eight of Wands in reverse? Justice. But I think something's going to be fair. There is going to be justice. Why is the justice here? Why is the justice here? There is communication coming in. Okay. Yeah. You want justice, okay? And that could be one of the reasons. With the Page of Wands here, there is communication coming in, okay? Again, your 
you could be dealing with someone very immature okay with the page of wands this is good news this is exciting communication coming in okay and whatever is going to happen right there's going to be someone wants to rectify the situation but again i'm getting that things i don't think you're just going to jump in and speak to this person okay things are going to be very very slow or very very delayed okay so there is going to be commu communication is coming in but it's going to be after a certain period of time don't expect communication immediately but when it comes in right you're going to feel like things are going to be fair or you're just going to feel like things are now just and things are not fair there's a wheel of fortune Give me one card. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? This person wants to now get the ball rolling. Again, please check Aquarius. Oh my God. This is... So this person wants to move, get the ball rolling and they're coming in on a snail. This is exactly what I said to Aquarius. Knight of Pentacles. This is someone, the slowest moving energy of the deck. They're on a horse, but actually they're on a snail. It's all about the timing. If you're ready to wait. They're coming in to take action. The King of Wands, they know what they want. They go there and they get it. Very, very confident. Try for the King of Cups in reverse. This person has a lot of faith and hope, okay, that things will work out, okay. They're shut down. They have trust issues. But this person has a lot of faith and hope that things will work out, okay. Sorry, I just got distracted for a second. Uh, yeah, so this person still ha has trust issues. They're emotionally unavailable, but they have faith in divine. And I think this person, it's something stated and destined, okay? They, they really have put you on a pedestal, okay? But um, again, they have hope that things will work out. They're coming in with... Um, or this could, Again, this could be you, Saj. I think you're the one who's emotionally shut off, okay? But you still have faith that things will work out. What is the Six of Swords here? What is the Six of Swords? Clap at the Six of Swords. Clap at the Six of Swords. Again, it's the waiting game. This, you're moving forward. They want to move forward with you. Yeah, see, Queen of Cups again. This person has a lot of love for you. With the Six of Swords and the Chariot here, okay? This person is very, very determined and hell-bent on making things move forward with you, okay? With the Wheel of Fortune and Knight of Pentacles. The only thing I only thing I see here is that things will be in your favor, Satch. They are coming in, but they're just coming in, coming in very, very slowly. In their emotions, they want to like, now, 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 you know? Very determined, very focused, wanting to overcome any obstacles that comes between you and them. Could be traveling, okay? Because the Chariot is distant, so this person could be wanting to travel towards you. You have two traveling cards, okay? But yeah, this person is definitely wanting to move forward towards you. You, on the other hand, I feel that you could be someone who's emotionally very, very shut off. But again, you have faith in divine that things will work out. What is the Queen of Cups in reverse as a likely outcome? Knight of Swords. You're emotionally shut off, but this person is now ready to come in. What is the Knight of Swords? Not for the Knight of Swords. Not for the Knight of Swords. There's going to be a slight of an okay, yeah. All right, see, this person is losing their shit. I like this very much. That you're the temperance here, and their temperance in the reverse. Okay, this person's losing their shit. They're coming in to apologize. They're coming in to tell you how much they love you. They're coming in to sweep you off their feet. With the uh, with the Queen of Wands in reverse here, they see you as losing interest. They see you as not taking action towards them anymore. They're coming in. Because with the Tower in reverse here, this person wants to avoid a disaster. Okay? They feel that if they lose you, it's going to be fucked up. It's going to be a, absolutely a big, huge mess. And they're rushing in to communicate with you. Okay? But you're shut off emotionally. You're shut off. So, Saja, I feel you're the one who's shut off because you're hurt and this is someone who you're dealing with who has trust issues. Whoever, take it how it resonates, okay? I've told you the entire story. Yeah, but someone's rushing in because they don't want the tower to fall. Or it could also be that you let the tower fall and now they're coming in to rebuild with you, okay? They want to rebuild with you. But you're the one shut off. So that's what I have for you, Saj. I hope this reading resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, leave your comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.